Hi guys. How you doing? You good? Yes? All right. You're playing inside today because it's a little bit cold outside, right? It's like, ooh, so cold. The sun comes in and out, but it's not raining. So that's a pretty cool thing. I'm really glad it's not raining. Um, did you get to go outside yesterday? It wasn't quite as cold yesterday. It was chilly. It was colder than it was over the weekend, but it wasn't too bad. Did you do your worksheet? Did you do your um, your craft? Did you make a Tyrannosaurus Rex? How cool was that, right? Ty Tyrannosaurus Rex with the big, long teeth, the eight-inch teeth. And Tyrannosaurus did not eat plants. What did Tyrannosaurus eat? He ate dinosaurs. He ate meat, right? Or she. There were she ones also. And... We're, they had a big brain, remember? Tyrannosaurus has a big brain, where where Stegosaurus had a little brain, remember? So do you remember all of the dinosaurs that we've learned so far? The first day, Monday, we learned Triceratops with the three horns, right? And then there was Stegosaurus, and Stegosaurus had the triangular um, plates on his back and the tail, so they could fight off like Tyrannosaurus or Allosaurus, right? So yes, that was uh, that was on Tuesday. So yesterday we did Tyrannosaurus. Tyrannosaurus was the one that was the meat eater. That one ate the meat, right? So other dinosaurs kind of ran because they didn't want to get eaten. They just wanted to eat their plants and be okay. Now this all took place a very, very long time ago. Remember, Miss Kathy said no people, just dinosaurs. There were no people when there were dinosaurs, okay? So we're good, we're good. Today we're gonna to learn about another dinosaur and this dinosaur is so long, it's a hunt, can be 88 feet long or 100 feet long. 100 feet long, that's like if you put your house and your neighbor's house together, Diplodocus would be bigger than that. Oh my goodness. The Diplodocus did not have big teeth, had a little short, kind of about that big teeth because that, um, Diplodocus was not a meat eater. Nope, Diplodocus ate plants. As a matter of fact, Diplodocus ate the leaves off of limbs on a tree. He just scraped them down with his teeth. That'd be cool, right? He could just scrape them and eat them. Scrape them and eat them, right? So that's what Diplodocus ate. And they lived, Diplodocus was around when there were Triceratops and Stegosaurus and Allosaurus. So they were all around at the same time. So they had to keep running from Allosaurus and Tyrannosaurus, but they, but they didn't have to run from Stegosaurus. They kind of ate and they were fine. And they lived around in the North America. They lived in, in uh, the United States and Canada and Mexico. So they were around where we are right now because that's where we live, right? We live in North America. They, uh, Diplodocus had a very, very long neck with a, with a head at the top and a very, very, very long tail. That's what made him so big, made him so long, he was like that. And his neck sometimes could go up so he could look around and see what was going on around there. And then he would put it back down again and eat. But that's how he figured out how to keep himself safe. He could look around and see what's going on. I like that. I like being aware of everything around you. It's a good way to be. All right, I have a good worksheet for you today. It's a counting worksheet. Now, what's the first thing you do when you get your worksheet? Yeah, you write your name. Now, now you could probably write both names, your first name and your last name. See if you could try. It'd be a cool thing to learn. And then you'll be all set for when you go to kindergarten or when you come back to Miss Kathy, you'll be all set, okay? Now, this, this worksheet says you need to color the dinosaurs that are the same, the same color. So see this Tyrannosaurus Rex, and there's another one and another one. So you have to, they want you to color them all the same color. And then here's like a Brontosaurus and another one and another one and another one and another one. You could color them all the same color. And Ankylosaurus, right? And Triceratops, all right? So find the dinosaurs and try to color them the same color. And then you have to count them. That's why you color them the same color so you can pick them out. So I want you to count how many Brontosaurus there are. One, two, three, four, five. Five, 
five brontosaurus. So you put the number five in that box. If you don't know how to make a five, ask your brother or your sister or mom or dad, and then they can write it and then you write it. And then you put it in the box, you write it in the box, okay? You could do the same thing with Stegosaurus, but I don't see any steg. oh, I see one. One Stegosaurus. And Triceratops, count them. And you can count Tyrannosaurus and Ankylosaurus, and you can count this one too, okay? On the back, you can write your numbers from one to 20. I think you can do that. One to 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay? Good. I need you to practice so you'll be all set when you come back. Okay? All right. Now we have the craft. Here's the craft of the Plotticus. See how long he is? He's got this really long tail. And his really long neck. And he can make it go up and he can make it go down. And he's got some nice legs going there. Now, we don't know what color these dinosaurs were because we don't see that. We only see their bones. So we can make them any color we want. And Miss Kathy made this one a lot of different colors. In your, um, in your email, in the attachments, is the, um, the worksheet, but also is the, the pattern for the, the head and the tail and the two legs for your Diplodocus. And this part, the body, you can use a half a paper plate if you want, or I just cut out a half a circle that fit on there. And then color them in, or um, paint them, or use, you can cut out little pieces of colored paper and glue them on there. Whatever makes it nice and colorful, okay? So this is Diplodocus. That's not an easy word to say, Diplodocus. Yeah, yeah, you got it, that's it. So that's our fourth dinosaur. We have one more dinosaur tomorrow. One more tomorrow. And then we'll do something new next week, okay? How's it going at home? Is it going all right? Are you being good? It's hard to be good, isn't it? People are cranky and you don't wanna stay inside and you wanna go see your friends. It's hard. Miss Kathy gets cranky sometimes. But I'll tell you something. You're with your mom and your dad and you're with your brother and your sister and you have your food and your toys, and you can play with everybody. And you have Miss Kathy and Miss Robin and Miss Jess and Miss Anuja, and we're all here for you. And we're thinking about you, and we're doing things for you, like your worksheets and your crafts. And then once you do the theme, once you learn what the dinosaurs are, go on YouTube and find them. You, that's all Miss Kathy does, I just Google it. And then you can find pictures of them walking and you can find uh, more facts about them. And maybe you could tell me the facts about them because I just picked out a couple, but I bet you could find more. So keep going with what I'm teaching you. Keep going and learn more things. And then you can teach me because that's me. I don't know all of this stuff, but I think you know a lot of stuff. I do. I'm just saying you're going to be okay because you're with your mom and dad and everything is okay, right? Uh, but you have to be a good girl and you have to be a good boy. And you have to know that mom and dad aren't being mean. They just want you to, to do the right thing and be safe, right? Miss Kathy says, nobody gets hurt. Getting hurt is against my rules. Nobody gets hurt and nobody gets sick. You just have to be good, right? Are you looking around? Are you seeing people? They're wearing their masks so that they have um, no germs, right? If mommy has a mask for you, you put it right on and you wear it when she tells you. And if mommy says, stop making all that noise, the baby's sleeping, you kind of want to stop making that noise because if that baby wakes up, that baby's going to be screaming, screaming, and then it's going to be annoying. So you have to be quiet when there's a baby in the house. Not all the time, but when the baby's sleeping and the baby's going to grow up just like that. If mom and dad tell you to sit down and eat your lunch, we talked about this yesterday, right? You could sit down and talk to them and have a conversation with them while you're eating. And that way you can learn stuff about them and they can learn stuff about you, right? It's a great way to, to be a family together. This is the time to, to learn how to be with, with each other and love each other. And if you see that somebody's sad in your house, go give them a hug. And if you see that they're not sad, go give them a hug. Because people need hugs. Miss Kathy needs hugs. You are not here to hug me. What am I going to do? When you come back, you better hug me. All over the place. Okay? All right. Let's 
make sure that you are helping around the house. So you're folding the towels, you're matching the socks, you're setting the table and clearing the table, you're sitting down and having a conversation at dinner. Um, are you wiping down the walls? Are you wiping down the floors? Are you picking up all your toys and putting them where they belong? And making your bed? We have to make beds. Are you helping to cook? Tonight, I'm making pizza. So I'm gonna have my kids help me cook. They can put the tomato sauce on, they can put the cheese on, right? That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna help. Now, if you happen to, while you're cooking, think, wait, I think Miss Kathy likes chocolate. If you try to think of that and it comes into your head, if you have chocolate, I have no problem with you making me chocolate. You could make chocolate chip cookies, you could make chocolate cupcakes, you could make pretzels, you could make bread, you could make a salad, I love salad, or fruit, right? You ask mom, maybe mom, when you get a little bit of a chance, maybe we could make something. And then if you send me a picture of you and the food, I shall eat it right off the computer screen. Yes, I can do that. I'm very magical. I love you. And I miss you very much. But I know we're going to be together soon. Have a great day. I love you. Bye.